One of the busiest fire departments here in Central Texas is also one of the most handicapped when it comes to cash. Between brush fires, drownings, Lake Travis Fire and Rescue has been working overtime this summer. They're having to make some serious cuts to make up the cost. Chris Sodigy explains. Two weeks ago, Lake Travis Fire and Rescue put a fire out here in this neighborhood without losing a single home, but it did scorch the ground black and it turned their ink red. Back on July 27th, it took more than 140 firefighters and several departments to put out this wildfire that tore through the Belvedere neighborhood. But once the flames were out and the mutual aid left, it was up to the Lake Travis Fire and Rescue to handle the aftermath. And a fire of 400 acres doesn't go out in one day, uh, no matter how many resources you throw on top of it. Putting out hot spots, watching for flare-ups, things that didn't get as much attention, but still cost anywhere from ten dollars to $60,000 a day. That job, that cost, left to the department of 65 that has to pinch every penny. That's because emergency service districts in Texas have a state cap that significantly limits what they can tax. A lot of work and not a lot of money makes it tough on Assistant Chief Robert Abbott. Our overtime budget is pretty close to the max right now. If you go by the numbers, it's not just maxed, but far beyond. Travis County Emergency Management budgeted $450,000 for overtime this fiscal year. And with two months left in the fiscal year, they're 105000 over budget, thanks to a dry summer and a deadly one. We've had an unfortunate amount of fatalities on a lake. Seven, to be exact, already two more than last year, six more than all of 2009. As for wildfires, they usually average two to five burnt acres a year, but this year they've already had to douse more than 500. All our budgets are tight, um, and we have to find that balance of overtime, and we have to put firefighters on the streets. And balance means taking away from other areas like outside training and public education. With a hot summer, they're looking for a rainmaker in more ways than one. And Lake Travis Fire and Rescue says, yes, they do need a break. And the best way to get that break is for everybody to be careful and make sure they're taking care of themselves and their homes. We're in West Travis County. Chris Seidegge, KXAN News.